Today we're going to show you the Suzuki 2.5 horsepower and you're going to ask what is this block doing on the Pelican Bass Raider on the back? I had to raise this up about a half inch. This is a half inch piece of plywood so that when you flip the motor around you can see here it actually was touching that rubber piece kind of grinding on it. So we had to ramp it up a little bit just so we can uh, get it to spin into reverse. This is the 15 inch shaft. They also make a 20 inch shaft but this is uh, perfect for this boat. It gets in the water nice. You can pitch this up uh, for easy loading and unloading. Make sure you shut off the fuel here on the side and everything won't come leaking out. We're going to get ready to go so I'm going to lower this down in the water and get this thing fired up. <laughs> First pull of the day and we're up and running. So we're going to let idle here for a second and get this uh, warmed up. And we're going to go from neutral into drive and you can see here this is about a one to two speed on the Minn Kota roughly. So if you have a Minn Kota motor right now just leaving it at idle will give you that nice kind of trolling speed. We'll go a little bit quicker now. We're going to run it up and uh, go about three quarter throttle today. I'm not going to go full on, so we're going to show you what this thing sounds like once we uh, crank it up here. Now, some of you guys asked about transom flex on the backside when you have a gas motor or something with a little more horsepower. I did notice that the motor did flex the back end quite a bit not enough to get worried about but i just wanted to point it out there this is a plastic boat so i'm ex i'm assuming that it's going to flex nothing crazy we're all good so as you can see i had my depth finder transducer up and out of the way i noticed when i started going a little bit quicker it was putting a little strain on it so i got it up and out of the way but no worries we're motoring ahead You can easily adjust the throttle. It actually has a speed control on it, so you just dial it in and keep it at the speed that you want. It also has a steering control, so you can kind of tighten it up and get where you want to go. And it does have a pitch setting, so you can raise and lower the motor to set your pitch. I have not messed with that yet, but we'll uh, check that out here shortly. So as you can see, it's riding a little lower in the water up front. That's probably because I'm up in the front taking some video right there. But if you're in the back or you got your weight evenly distributed in the boat, it should ride really nice. Again, this motor is 29 pounds. It uses about a liter of fuel. If you're running at idle or not much throughout the day, this, you're going to only go through maybe a tank, if that. I'm digging this thing. This thing is pretty cool. Again, I got this motor so I can get further out on the lake and not have to worry about draining the battery on the Dakota. And, uh... As you can see here, I was leaning up front and it was splashing up on the bow. As I transferred to the back, the weight uh, did even out and we were uh, not riding as low in the water. So, just know if you guys are... Uh, a little on the heavier side, just watch that weight and uh, make sure that you're not overloading it. Again, this was a great little Suzuki motor, 2.5 horsepower. Thank you guys for watching. Check out more and uh, we'll see you on the next couple videos. Take care.